Today on Cooking with Leone, we are going to be making the pakora. The pakora is an Indian fritter, and the word is literally a compound of cooked and small lump. By definition, a pakora is a cluster of vegetables, and sometimes meat, deep fried in a chickpea batter. It's originated in India, but it is now eaten across South Asia. It has even evolved in Western countries, such as Great Britain, where they are often purchased as a fast food snack, as an alternative to chips, curries or kebabs. They are known to be crisp and hot on the outside, yet softer on the inside. They are often served as a snack or appetizer, complemented with tamarind chutney, brown sauce or most commonly, ketchup. However, they can also feature in a yogurt-based curry known as curry. Traditionally, they are served to welcome guests to religious Sikh ceremonies or significant occasions, such as weddings, also known as the Nanang Karaj. Nowadays, most Sikhs eat them with breakfast in the morning or afternoon tea, or just as a general snack. So, with that said, let's get started! Firstly, make sure your oil in the pan is hot. We start by adding all the ingredients to the mixture except the oil. Once all have been added in, use your hands to mix them all together. The fact that everything can be added and mixed at the same time in the same bowl is what makes this dish relatively simple. Then, take a bunch of mixture into your hand and slowly drop it into the hot oil. Be careful as it does spit. This is a tester piece to make sure that the salt and chilli proportions are correct. Okay, so now my dad is going to try a piece. What does it taste like? Mm, taste. Don't lie, just tell us the truth. Very yummy. Are you sure? Super tasty. Not just because I'm the chef. It's the best. I've ever tasted. Okay, now we can get on with the rest of it. Now we can add more than one bunch at a time into the oil. We let them fry until they are golden brown and rise to the top of the pan. Frequently turn them whilst frying so they don't stick together. Once they are ready, drain the oil off of the pakora by placing it onto a kitchen towel. There are variations to what the pakora can be made out of. If you're not a fan of vegetables, you can use plain potatoes instead. You can also use plain bread dipped in the batter mixture. This is what they look like after being fried. Once all the pakora have been left to drain, place them all onto a dry surface. Finally, we have all of our finished pakora. Finally, I get to sample the lovely pakora that Leone's made. The way we have it is, we dunk it 
into a little bit of ketchup and let's see how it tastes. Mmm, it's really crunchy and delicious. I think I'll have to be having some more. He's going in. <laughs> You're having a fun Why time there. You know it! Okay, don't make a sound now. Okay, three, two, one. Shoot! I just said not to make a sound! Oh, I thought you were making a blooper! Oh my god! Let's give it a try, shall we? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> 